there. Today I'm going to show you how to reset a tripped circuit breaker. So this is pretty standard board. You've got main switch. It should be on all the time. It will never trip. You only be turning it off manually. And these are your circuit breakers. Now these are instead of fuses. Some people with older type boards with fuses in place of circuit breakers. This for this video I'm gonna be showing you about circuit breakers. So if your electric is off, first of all, if one of these circuit breakers trips, normally trip down, it says on and off on it. If you look close, on and off. So most of the time all you have to do is flick it back on and it should stay on. But if you have a fault, you'll hear a bang, maybe see a flash out of it and it'll flick it off again. In that case, you'll need to get a qualified electrician to look at it because there's a short circuit somewhere in the system and you need to disconnect the fuse board and test all the cabling on that circuit. Now, if we look over here, this is your trip. The way there's a test button on it. Test, flick it, go off. You're supposed to do that every three months, test your trip. And it should say, it's a bit hard to see here. RCCB, yes, 30 milliamp. The way it says 30 milliamp. That you'll only see that on an RCD device. It says test monthly. So if that has tripped, it is just a matter of turning it on again. But if it trips, it can be something very small to throw a trip. But whereas if a breaker throws and it goes off again, once you put it on and it goes off again, it's a good chance you'll need an electrician to sort sort it out. So that's pretty much it. If it goes on and stays on, it's safe to leave. It could have been a blown bulb and throw a circuit breaker or a trip, but if it's still going off, you'll need to contact a qualified electrician. Or if you need any more advice, just go to my website. There's a link in the description and fill out the contact me form and I'll get back to you. Just send me an email and I'll be in touch and I could give him a Skype, a Skype name so we can see what the problem is. Maybe talk you through fixing the problem or arrange to get it fixed. Thank you.